Hi folks, today I want to introduce you the remote Pi board from MSI Digital Solutions. This is a on-off button solution for the Raspberry Pi. Now as the Raspberry Pi 2 is out, it was thought to be used as a desktop computer. But without a proper on-off switch, how can you make a desktop computer? So this remote Pi board is about to handle this problem with a very nice design and very easy usage. It was intended to be used with an infrared remote controller so you can remotely switch on and off your device. It also has a push button so it seems to be very easy to use. The product arrived within two weeks from uh, Thailand to Europe. I would like to show you the envelope which is nicely labeled and we have some nice elephant on the stamp. I open the envelope now. We have a welcome letter here. <coughs> There is a nice box inside. That's pretty. We have some screws, or at least one screw. And here is the board itself. I can see that there is a nice push button on the top and here is an infrared receiver and there is an LED here and it fits nicely on top of the Raspberry Pi like so and we have to mount the screw here which I do it right now That's a nice fit, so here I've fixed this uh, board to Raspberry Pi board with this screw and it fits nicely, snug. And uh, we have now two USB ports, this one is for direct input and this one goes through the board to control the power with this button and the infrared. I was already playing around with this unit and there are some things I didn't like in this model. The biggest problem I found out with this is that it do not detect the state of the Pi. So when you shut down the operating system from the software, then the switch do not know if it was shut down or not. The only way to properly shut down the device with this unit is to use the push button or the infrared remote control. The other thing I do not like is that when you turn your Pi on and you realize that you have the wrong SD card in it, you just can't stop the loading of the device. You need to wait for the boot period to finish and then properly shut down the device again. Now I would like to make some measurements about the power consumption of this additional board. When the Pi is off without the board, it draws 63 milliamps. When the Pi is off with the switch, it draws less than 4 milliamps. I did make a simple case for this setup. It's really easy with some wooden plates and uh, 3D printed spacers and uh, wood screws. When it comes to the case, it's a pity that they put the button near to the edge. It would be much nicer to put it in some kind of uh, inside position. I still have good and bad news for you. The good news is that the remote pie 
the board is capable to firmware updates so you may expect firmware updates for this product. The bad news is that it's not hackable. Even the firmware can be updated. The board itself and the firmware is not open so you cannot modify your code for your own needs. Overall I can still recommend this product because it's nice looking and easy to use. However I do not use the infrared functionality at all. That's all for now. I hope you liked it. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.